Well, come back, everybody. Oh, you are way zoomed out. Let's zoom you in. We're going to uh, continue with the Inktober Tangle Patterns. Today is the 13th, so we're going to do day 13th, which is Ecanthus. Click on that, and then you have to find it in the blog. And I think it's interesting that they've underlined the word can in the in this, and so it's I can this. I can do this. I can this. Uh, so this one's a little complicated. If I click on this, first we're going to start with a squiggly line. That's easy. And then from that squiggly line, we've got some branches. That's easy. Then we do at the top of the branches, but not touching the branches, this little kind of a leaf tip shape. That's easy. Then we do these U's. They seem to be not touching anything, but they're facing away from a branch. So anywhere where there's a branch, the U shape uh, faces away from the branch. This one seems to be touching those leaves, but they don't. Most of them are not touching anything. And then we have to go to the next picture. Come on. And then we connect all of those. See now on the next picture, those things aren't actually touching. Then we just connect these leafy bits to these U's with squiggly lines. They seem to be random. And then in the, in the um, crux of the V's, we're going to make some darker bits. And then we can, if we want, to do a little folded over moment on some of these bigger leaves if we want to. And then show you their their artwork. That's what it looks like. Just kind of plain with a I don't remember what that's called in the background. And then this one's got some tipple in the background and it has the more foldy over leaves. These ones are wider and fatter. These are skinnier. That's what we're going to do. And yeah. Oh, oh, nope, nope. I don't want a new tab. Ah, OK. Lights on. Um, what shape? What shape piece of paper do we want to use? Let's use this shape. What color do we want to use? These are all my colors I have in stock at the moment. Uh, let's use a bright yellow fluorescent -y color. Why not? Why not? And then I'm going to, I'm actually going to make a border. And then I'm going to kind of plan. We can do this. I can this. I can't this. I can this. Let's do just one big leaf coming up this way with Do those get extra branches? I suppose they could. Something like that. I'm going to just do one, one leaf. We're gonna we're gonna do this. Can you see that? Not really. You will get there in a second. As soon as I, as soon as I start drawing, we'll get there. And I need to make sure I'm not too close to the edge here. Okay. Do I want my middle branch darker than the rest? Um, maybe. Maybe. Why 
when I draw my box first, then I then I've already decided that things aren't going outside the box. The middle branch is going to be kind of like that. Why? I don't know, because that's what I've decided. These branches are... That's how I've decided to draw them. A little sketchy. Okay, then at the end of each of these, we do a sort of leafy bit shape. Not touching. Not touching. Not touching. Then we do the U's. And the U's go, oops, that's not what I want to do. Gosh, dinged it. Gosh, dinged it. The kind of U shapes go away from the branch. that. Something like that. And then we just connect them all. Right? That's, that's all it says it to do, is to just connect them all with a squiggly, squiggly line. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's do We can do this. I can this. Does the bottom go? It just kind of comes into the into the stem like that. Okay. There we go. That. That's it. That's the pattern. Uh, and then we do in these in these spots just do a little deepening here. that. And do we want folded over leaves? Oh sure, why not? Let's fold over the leaves. How does that look? That looks like little kind of triangular -y bits. Like that.
Why not? Okay, so now what do we want to do? Do we want to, let's, let's assign it. Do I want it to live sideways or vertical like I drew it? Ooh, that's kind of cool. You know what? This one's going to live this one. It's going to live that way. Why? I don't know. That's just the way I decided it's going to live. It's going to live this way. It's like it's hanging off of a tree. Like we walked up to a tree and we studied the leaf, the branch coming off the tree. The tree is here growing really big and this is a study of one of the leaves and do we want watercolor feeling watercolor again or maybe colored pencil maybe both let's do a little of both I'm feeling like a fall leaf. So let's do let's do a little yellows. Some highlighting. With these folded over leaves, like the back side is a kind of a golden yellow. And the middle bit has gone a little orangey brown. But it'll have another color on top. And around the edge is sort of a brownie or ochre color. Not everywhere. Okay. And now I'm going to actually use my watercolors again. I Sometimes I get on a kick. Apparently today is the watercolor. Um, let's do... Let my brush go. Let's do this bit here. It's kind of brownish, greenish color. A little green in it. Let's get a little green in it. Cool thing about doing watercolor on leaves, especially like fall leaves, is that each part of the leaf is going to be different colors anyways. So it really doesn't make any difference what color things end up which is very cool. Gives you such wonderful texture. I think, I think it's just so much fun. Just add whatever comes to mind here and leave some of it, leave some of it undone bit of red maybe that turns it to kind of a brownish color that's good yeah I like that okay it looks better in real life than it does on the camera that 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 bright yellow is is throwing it all off I think I may take my pens now and do a you know what I'm going to do I'll, I'll, 
this may completely ruin it. I'm going to completely contrast it with a Posca background in. Ooh, is that going to just give it just the worst thing? Or do I want to go with a blue? Work. I'm I'm feeling feeling like a warm color, not the blue. So we're gonna we're just gonna Posca with this sort of apricot color. Get rid of this yellow. That will help my camera white balance itself a little bit better. And we're going to we're going to do the background in a Posca. Peach apricot color. Um, Why the stripes? I don't know. I can always fill it in if I don't decide I don't like the stripes, but I don't know. The stripes are calling to me. Paper is a little warped, so it's popping up on me. I suppose I could have thought about this before I did the watercolor, but it didn't come to mind then. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I think I'm going to leave it just like that. I do need to fix a couple of spots where I got one on top of my drawing with my Posca. Was that it? It was just those two? No, there was one more over here. And one here. Okay. White balance on my camera is doing funky things so it doesn't look right. Let me see if I can reach a white piece of paper to stick under there. Just a blank white piece. See if my camera will will white balance itself better. Oh, that's much better. Okay, it needed a bit of white for my camera to fix itself. That's not too bad. All right, you guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video, which will be, what, Monday? It will be a Monday. Uh, next week, in case you guys want to look ahead, is going to be called Walnuts, Zutlo, and Kalua. Ones I've never heard of before. Lots of them this, this month are ones I've never heard of before, so that's cool. I think I had heard of this one before, but for sure I know I've done Dark Busters before. If I remember, if I can think about it, I will try to link at the end of this video, uh, you know, when it pops up on the corners 
of videos to try. Try to link the, the ones that match uh, from this. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button for me if you would. I would appreciate it, especially the subscribe button. I really want to get to that 30,000 subscribers, but we are just way too far away. I was really hoping we could do it, but I was disappointed. Oh, well. Uh, where are we? Let me look it up real quick. You guys can go if you want, but I'm going to look it up real quick here at the end. 29,786. <sighs> I lost 41 subscribers. How I lost 41 subscribers, I don't know. Starting in November, we're simplifying and controls for pre roll, post roll, skippable. Stand back. Okay. Notes from YouTube. Okay. All right. You guys have a great day. See you later. That's ah, rolling up. My page is curling up. Lay flat. Lay flat for the thumbnail. Okay. There you go. You guys have a great day. Bye.